Hey guys! So today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Most days I show you how to make a cake and today I'm going to do that but I'm also going to show you how to smash them. It is the best stress reliever in the entire world so let's get started. My name is Jaja Binks and I like to ruin movies. First cake I decided to build was a watercolor cake. You can totally tell that I'm eating the entire time I'm filming this video because there's food on my face. So I added a little bit of buttercream on the bottom and then added my first layer of cake. Now I'm just going to swirl some white buttercream in the middle and I thought it'd be really pretty if I swirled some turquoise in the middle as well. I thought the combination of color would look like really good when you cut into it. I totally forgot that I was smashing this cake. Now on went my second layer of cake and this is a vanilla cake recipe. It's a very special vanilla cake recipe. It's called the, my oven wasn't hot enough when I put the cakes in so they didn't rise properly. That's why the sides look a little funky. I just repeated this process again, added some vanilla and a swirl of turquoise and then added on top my last layer of cake. That one did rise properly because that was the second batch so the oven was hot enough when I put those cakes in. And I gave my cake an entire crumb coat and then added on an outer layer of buttercream. Um, it's like this perfectly soft pink. Oh! It's a girl! Or a boy! Get with the times, bear. Just work my icing all the way around my cake and then smoothened it out with a cake scraper. Now to get the watercolor effect, I added a darker pink. This is kind of like, oh, roulette. That's it. I just added like splotches of roulette paint all over the sides. Then with my cake scraper, I just blended the color on the top and underneath together. All the while just making sure that the sides and the top of the cake were smooth and flat. And I'm just adding some huge white stars of buttercream. And I'm using a mixture of Wilton's tips, the same white buttercream so that the bottom in the middle of this cake has a lot of texture. What am I eating? It's got to be cake. There, there's so much white icing on the side of my mouth. That's definitely cake. Am I talking to someone? It looks like I'm talking to someone. Maybe I'm singing a song? Maybe? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Shot this a long time ago. I'm gonna add some white sprinkles onto the sides and then add some white stars to the top of the cake. Now birthday cakes need birthday candles and I found these extremely fancy long silver candles uh, at the fanciest store I've ever been to when it's. It's called Walmart? Wow, so class. Much fans. After that I sprinkled on a little more sprinkles like Salt Bay with like Zero the muscle and half of the charisma. <laughs> Once I finished my first birthday cake, it was time to have some fun. The bottom layer of this cake was like not affected at all. I could change that. Look at this face that I'm making. Oh my god, that's like stereotypical racist Asian face. As an Asian person, I'm offended. And also as an Asian person, I'm the offender. That was unintentional. Now let's make the next cake. Now I really like Lucky Charms, so I decided to make a Lucky Charms birthday cake. I've never had one, so here we go. So I placed on my first vanilla cake, and that's right, we're using the special recipe again. Your, ov your oven wasn't preheated, that's fine, just put it in. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> I tried to use the colors that were on the Lucky Charms marshmallows. So green on the first layer, then I added my second layer of cake, and I'm placing on some purple buttercream on top of that. Now there is a hole in the middle of this so that we can put some Lucky Charms into the middle of the cake. I'm hoping that the Lucky Charms just like burst when you hit it with a bat. High hopes man, high high hopes. I filled my Lucky Charms to the top and there was a lot of overflow but that's alright because we're just having fun. Today we're not going to worry about anything, we're just going to worry about having fun. 
I'm gonna give my entire cake a crumb coat. And this is my favorite crumb coat just because I like that the pink is showing through. And it's kind of like the watercolor that I created on the last cake. I thought this cake would look bomb if I covered it in baby blue or like a sky blue. So that's what I did. Just worked my buttercream all the way around the cake and then flanned it out with my cake scraper. Now to finish this cake off, I'm just gonna add some star piles to the top of the cake. It's like the poop emoji, but like super fancy because there's so much texture. And then I added some Lucky Charms to the sides. Just started at the bottom and had them climbing up. Looks so good, huh? I think I'm watching TV, right? Now that gesture makes me think that I'm watching like a, a game or something. Maybe like a sports game. I don't know. So, football. That's where you kick the f tennis f uh, into the hoop from the five-pointer line. Once I finished with my beautiful cake, it was time to smash this baby. Now my cousin was the one helping me film all this slow-mo stuff, so I let her smash one of the cakes. Now let's get to the last birthday cake. Now I wanted this last cake to just be like super generic, very sprinkly and white and what you would find at any like kid's birthday party. So I'm starting with vanilla cakes, I'm just adding some white icing into the middle. I forgot to add sprinkles to the first layer but I did add them to the second layer and then every layer after that. Make sure your oven's hot. These cakes are sunken in, I'm sorry, I know I'm supposed to be a professional man, but I'm not a professional man when it comes to bacon. I didn't even set a timer for these, I don't think. <laughs> I just wait till I finish two episodes of The Office and then I take them out of the oven. Now there's a hole in the middle of all of my layers so I can add some sprinkles and some six slits into the middle of the cake. Fill it to the top. Oh, it's bomb. I'm very cringe when I shoot, so I'm probably gonna dab. And I dabbed. That's like my second cringy thing today. Now I'm gonna give this a coat of buttercream and I'm only gonna give it a crumb coat. I love cakes where you can see the crumbs on the cake as well as some of the layers on the outside. Now my cousin said that I should add a second layer of buttercream, but I don't value his opinion, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it my way. Now I love sprinkles and so I wanted to add sprinkles all around this cake. Just like the previous two cakes, I started at the bottom and just had them creeping up the sides. I'm gonna add a pile of stars. And then I added four gumballs to every other pile. Now I'm adding some generic looking candles to the top just to give this cake more color. Once my birthday cake was done, it was time to take it outside and have some fun. Now the last cake was definitely my favorite to smash. It just, I love that the top layer just was like still in one piece when it flew off the cake board. It wasn't fun to clean up, but it was so much fun to smash. So there are a couple reasons why I decided to start smashing my cakes. And, and the first is that YouTube is extremely stressful. <laughs> Baking the cakes, decorating the cakes, looking over the footage, editing all the footage, editing it again for Instagram, doing all social media stuff that is just, it's like three breakdowns a year, that's all I'm prepared for. And now that I have a social life, it's looking more like there's gonna be a fourth one. After smashing the Pennywise cake, I realized how satisfying and how much of a stress reliever it is to just demolish it. It takes seven hours to meticulously create all of the features. And instead of just like giving it away, you get the satisfaction of destroying it. And it's just amazing. The second is that I used to take my cakes, cut them up, and then hand them out to homeless people in downtown LA. But then my cousins told me about the companies they worked with who would take their leftover cafeteria food and hand it out to homeless people as well, and they were sued. The second is that when I moved into my apartment, I actually have no space to have a full set. So it's part bedroom over here, and then it's like all set on this side. That's coupled with the fact that I have kitty cats 
led me to believe that I should not give away any of my cakes and so I haven't been doing that for a very long time. I would just take them very slowly and put them into my parents compost pile. You know how satisfying that is? That's not satisfying at all. So I thought I'd give the cakes a second life by creating an awesome video and relieving some stress. So I'm gonna keep doing it because it keeps me sane and I get to spend time with like my family because Everybody loves to smash a cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace! Oh, that was not intended.